Hello, I'm Alistair Chapman. I'm the designer of the Genestech Hurricane Rig. That's this 3D rig here that can be used for side-by-side -side or beam splitter filming. I'm going to look today at some of the optional extras that we now have available for the rig. Now the first one, and this has been out for a few months now, is this piece here. It's called the bolster bracket and it does two things. Is One is it stiffens the whole rig by triangulating this area here turns it into a very rigid structure indeed and it really is almost uh, well absolutely solid you really can't bend or flex the rig in that direction so this is really good if you're using heavy cameras uh, say cameras like Sony's F3 with a big PL mount lens uh, or RED uh, Epic or RED1 cameras like that and this really increases the payload of the rig quite significantly now the other thing that it does is it helps to balance the rig on a tripod like this. So this is a Vinton 100, this is a medium weight tripod um, and normally you wouldn't use a tripod like this with a 3D rig, it would probably be considered a little on the light side. But the Vinton 100 has a really good counterbalance spring mechanism in the tripod head and we can use that with this bracket to help balance the rig because normally the tripod would try and sit level like that so that this is level and there's a spring in here that resists it tilting forwards but by using this angled bracket this bolster bracket and deliberately tipping the head forwards like this the counterbalance spring will always try to push the head up and this will offset the weight of having a camera here and makes balancing the rig much much simpler and much easier so this is the bolster bracket it's highly adjustable. You can raise this piece up and down here or you can move this piece backwards and forwards and there are various mounting holes so you can change the angle of the bracket depending on what you need to do. And you can in fact if you mount it up here have it so that it's completely square and flush if you're using it on a steady cam, but still need to have some extra stiffness and rigidity in the rig. So I really recommend this as a, as a standard fitment really for all rigs, but this is available as an optional extra. Now the next thing I want to show you, the most obvious thing perhaps right now, is this new hood here. This is a much larger hood than the standard hood that's supplied with the rig. Now the standard hood is really good for uh, cameras like the um, EX1, EX3, Canon XF305, um, F3 and many of the smaller cameras but there are some issues with some cameras in particular cameras using very large PL mount lenses or cameras like the XF105 so we've brought out this um, optional hood now currently the one that I have here is actually fitted with a baffle for the uh, Canon XF105 and uh, you can see it here and it has a cutout specifically for the Canon XF105 so this hood works really well with that camera. Other things that this hood has is in the front here now we have a lower baffle so there is a baffle plate now in the front lower part of the hood to prevent light coming up from underneath so this is a new addition and the production versions of this hood will have holes in the side of the hood here to fit brackets to take either a depolarizing filter a quarter wave retarder or a safety glass so this will make this hood much more uh, versatile and much more flexible. Now another thing, another perhaps obvious thing that you may have seen on the back of the rig here is we have a new cheese plate. Now this is a standard new part from Genus, this is the Genus cheese plate with 19 millimeter rail fittings so this goes directly onto the rig and this has a whole multitude of holes on the back here for most of the standard Camry, most of the standard battery adapter plates like IDX plates, uh, PAG plates and things like that they'll bolt straight onto here as well as a multitude of quarter inch and half inch threaded holes for your standard sort of accessories so a whole multitude of uh, points for mounting extras and this bracket this cheese plate's really nice because you can mount it this way up like this or via a simple screw system you can mount it flat 
like this. So it gives you a multitude of options and a multitude of ways of mounting your accessories, maybe monitors, batteries, uh, converters, adapters, all those things that end up being attached to a 3D rig on the back of here. So this is another optional extra and this is the Genus 19mm cheese plate. Um, and it does actually come with a second bracket on this end when you buy it so you can mount it onto rails or maybe even use it as a camera support. A very versatile uh, little device, very useful to have anyway, not just for the 3D rig. Now the one that maybe many of you have missed uh, looking at the rig in this video is this little piece here. New little bracket sitting here. So what's this for? This is for fitting a standard off-the-shelf follow focus motor to drive the interaxial. So on the back of the interaxial gear here now we have a gear drive and you can use a standard follow focus motor to motorize the rig to give you remote control of the interaxial. This is something that a lot of people have been asking for. This was actually a relatively straightforward modification to make. This can be retrofitted onto any rig even if you bought serial number one you'll be able to retrofit this to your rig. Now you have lots of options. You can just use a standard off-the-shelf follow focus motor, follow focus kit, that will work just fine. Or we have um, a number of dedicated 3D controllers coming onto the market now that will control this. And one in particular that I can recommend is the Today 3D controller. And we'll take a look at that in a separate video. So there you are. A whole host of upgrade options for the Hurricane rig. One of the things that we set out for from day one with the Hurricane Rig was to build a rig that would grow with you as your needs and your requirements change. And I believe that by adding motorization, the new larger hood, cheese plate, bolster bracket and everything else, the rig really now has um, gone on to the next level. We have users using the rigs on feature films. We have rigs in Antarctica doing stuff for the BBC Natural History Unit. Um, I've been doing lots of stuff with the rigs, been used in cinema commercials, 3D commercials and 3D TV shows. So Hurricane Rig is turning out to be very popular, being used in a very broad range of genres, everything from corporate video production all the way up to movie production. So when you get a chance, take a look, have a look at the website for more information. Thank you.